Sunday morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy, as well as Joe Blair in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Beef Culture Network without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Let's wake up the football gods. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you are having a great Sunday. Before we get any further in here, let's send prayers to the Indiana coast, uh, an area that was devastated twice last year. Lake Charles um, was literally hit by two bad hurricanes. They're just beginning to get themselves on their feet. And now we have a catastrophic uh, Hurricane Ida, which right now has sustained winds of 150 miles an hour, a Category 4 bordering on a Category 5, and will hit sometime around 1 o'clock Central. So please keep New Orleans, Louisiana, and everybody down there on the Gulf Coast in your prayers because it is going to be bad. And I have been down to New Orleans rebuilding homes in the past, and believe me, it's going to be a lot of people that are going to be in need. And so this is where we as Americans should always come together and look out for our fellow man and fellow woman. So today, literally less than three hours from now, the Dallas Cowboys have their final preseason game. And um, say what you will about preseason. The Cowboys are taking the approach of, we're not taking a chance. We are not going to get anybody hurt before the season opener. We're just 11 days, 10 hours, and 15 minutes and 30 seconds away from kickoff against Tampa Bay. And they look at it and feel that they're good with the time that they have to practice to get everybody ready for the games. Um, And I'm okay with that because, you know, we can't afford to lose an offensive lineman, a running back, a quarterback, or really anybody. Last year, injuries were devastating to this team, that and Mike Nolan. So today, you're going to see, because basically the Cowboys are sitting 30 players. If you're anywhere near being a starter or you know deemed important, you're not playing. That's the bottom line. For the rest of the guys, this is the final opportunity to make this roster, to make a final impression, to make your statement why you should be wearing that star this season. And one of those positions has to be quarterback. Okay, let's be real here. I don't know any way that Ben DiNucci makes the roster. I just don't. I'm sorry. Ben DiNucci, who went to JMU, he's a fellow JMU Duke, I would love for him to succeed, but the reality is he's not ready to be an NFL quarterback. He is not worthy right now of the the 53-man roster and practice squad right now. Just not. The question is, how many quarterbacks will the Cowboys keep? Now, you know the Eagles, as Philly 500 says, is a football factory. I'm still trying to understand that one, Philly. A football factory? Football factory. If it is... You need to bring that factory into the 21st century there, buddy. I I think it needs to be retooled because I'm going down the list of quarterbacks that you guys got and not exactly the cream of the crop, but you see that the Eagles traded for Gardner Minichu. They already had Joe Flacco on the roster. Of course, they got Jalen Hurts. I I don't think that they traded to get Gardner Minichu to cut him. I'm not sure you let go of Joe Flacco, and I'm sure you don't let go of Jalen Hurts. So you see they're going to be keeping three quarterbacks. Most teams don't. The Cowboys, I don't think, will keep three. So it's down to Cooper Rush and Double G. Early on in preseason, I thought Garrett Gilbert had the inside track. I thought he looked pretty good in the Hall of Fame game. But since that time, it seems like he's kind of gone downhill a little bit. Cooper Rush is a journeyman backup quarterback. Okay, let, let's call it what it is. He's been around. I think he's been on six different rosters. But he at least knows the scheme well, and he's a little bit more careful with the football. He's not going to take a lot of risk where you're going to get turnovers. And in some cases, 
That's your best offense is not turning over the ball, living to fight another day. And so I think they may be leaning towards Cooper Rush, but who knows? They, this could be where it all turns around. And we'll find out today how they look. Um, it was interesting watching Baltimore's backup quarterback who threw for, I think, five touchdowns. Dude was going off. I mean, it was just like, damn, 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 damn. Everywhere you went, you were like, damn. Can we get that guy as a backup? Um, and the Washington football team, um, definitely, they packed it in. They definitely weren't risking any of their starters in that game and could care less about that one losing 37-3. to three. Um, I'm not going to say that the Cowboys don't care about this one. In fact, the thing that I've noticed more than anything else is it doesn't matter if it's been the starters with Micah Parsons out there, who wants to play more. Or if you start getting down to guys like Kamara, the Cowboys have been very, very spirited, and they look like they have been very, very hyped up. They look like they're enjoying playing football. That was one of those things that we saw last year. It was come almost like more times than not, it felt like the Cowboys players were going to a funeral instead of being excited about playing football. You got 17 opportunities this year. That's it. All the work that you did all off season, training camp and everything else comes down to an hour of play on the field. 17 times, and that's it. And if you're not hyped up to do that for that one hour, then you may need to find another profession. Now, I have a lot of hopes for the Cowboys. We'll go into, um, we'll be doing a live stream, of course, here. I think my man E2 Blue will be in the house. Uh, David Wiley may be as well. We're going to start breaking down the 53-man roster and trying to figure out who's going to make this team and who's not. You know, there's going to be a lot of names that are going to be cuts, that they're going to surprise people. But you can only keep 53 of the 80. That's not a lot of spots that are left over. So we'll see where we go with this. As always, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'm going to finish getting set up for our live stream here because uh, it's already 10 o'clock. So here we go. Watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about this, Cowboys? Yeah!